Oh, that's lovely and fall from Cal. Kick off on this appeal, but uh, no movement from the umpire. Swing there, and that's been given. Tongi goes first ball, and Wheatley are in a spot of bother. Oh, big appeal! Might be turning it too much. Off the back of uh, a couple of good scores, and that's first ball, and he's given out. LBW. Oh, that's a great ball! Huge appeal from just about everyone on the field. The umpire is unmoved. It's a big appeal and not out. Huge appeal, not out. Oh, that's going to be out. Huge appeal, that looked like it was going down to me. I think they fancied that one. Huge appeal. I think that was going down. Oh my word, that's an incredibly cacophonous appeal. Um, but it's been turned down. So uh, Bayesian, Bayesian banter going on between uh, Jord and his uh, fellow countryman, Ronaldo here. Oh, that is gone and the banter's worked. <laughs> Huge appeal and <laughs> not out. Oh, that's stayed. No, that's a big shout. And that is another LBW. Finishing his spell strong here, Jono. That looks pretty close to me. And he's not giving that out. Panic sweep, hey boys. Panic sweep. That's been given, jaw goes, and this reply is in tatters. Oh, and that is a beautiful ball. Big shout, and uh, that's uh, not out. Oh dear, that's, uh, yes, that. <laughs> Silly sausage. <laughs> oh, oh my word. <laughs> Hi. Fudge cakes. That has been smashed by Munch. Three of the covers for four. Apologies for the choice Anglo Saxon. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. So uh, got that down, and that will be four leg buys, I think. It was. I may have overdubbed some of the uh, language that's being uh, used out there <laughs> by this stage in the editing process. That, and uh, that's not out. I'm gonna, that won't give the spawn on the <laughs> I'm going to have to overdub that editing. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. Fielding error, and I've probably overdubbed what the bowler said. Language, Timothy! Another advance down the track. flippity doo da Oh, that's edge. they have gone where about a sec. Shiver me timbers. And it's gone for four. Golly gosh! A bit of miscommunication. To uh, any children watching, gather round. Um, sometimes kids um, playing cricket when you're growing up conjures up strong emotions inside you that uh, can only be truly expressed uh, through the loud exclamation or four letter words derived from Old English. Well, I've been trying to uh, overlook it, viewer, but I can't ignore it any longer. There's no washing on the washing line today. Jimmy? It's a bad sign, mate. <laughs> it's bad fun. A fine and encouraging sight, viewer. 
You may have spotted viewer, as Jimmy has just now. There's washing on the washing line, shh. Look at that beautiful washing on the washing line there, Pex. Beautiful, love it. Isn't that a great sight, mate? It is. Working its oracle at the moment. Yep. Needless to say, viewer, on a day like today, no washing on the washing line. Might as well pack up and go home now. No washing out as yet, viewer, I'm afraid to report. Oh, it's the edge. Breaking news, everybody. Even though it's not the best weather, there's washing going on the washing line. Knew there was a reason for that good start. Washing's out, viewer. So, Jimmy, uh, the big news uh, in the winter is that we've re-signed our Bajan superstar, Jordan Niles, again, um, and I understand he's coming to live with you again. He how, is, yeah. How's that, uh, that going to work? Um, so, uh, we're going to find him a house somewhere, um, but then realised that he probably couldn't look after himself, so I said <laughs> I'd, I'd put him up again. <laughs> Uh, but he missed the first two games of the season, so he's, uh, he's passed his degree, so well done, oh, George. Excellent. Well done, George. Yeah. We've got a very hungover Jimmy Nixon with us, viewer. How are you doing, Jimmy? Good afternoon, Mr Peck. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a bit rough, to be honest with you, mate. <laughs> it was one of those uh, spare-the-moment nights. We've all been there. Yes. Um, Jordan's back. Jordan's back, yeah, three days. Um, I've not really seen him, mate, to be honest. He sleeps during the day and then he wakes up at night, so... Well, I've only spent about two hours with him in the last three days. <laughs> He's fitted in perfectly then. That's exactly what he did last time, wasn't it? It's like having a teenager. <laughs> well, uh, Jordan update for today is my fridge has never had more healthier food in its life. <laughs> Jimmy, it's uh, high time we had a Jordan Niles update. Um, how's it been going at uh, Shea Nico? Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, He's been spending a lot of money recently uh, on really? protein shakes. Good grief. What, um, what are they? I've never even come across that before. He's, he's trying to gain some weight, apparently. So. Right. Whereas I'm trying to lose some. So. Well, we could give him a few tips on that, can well, we? Well, we could, mate. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> As I'm losing it, I'm giving it to him. <laughs> so a bit of a Jordan Niles update for you. Uh, Jordan's beautiful girlfriend, Jamila, is uh, over from Barbados for a couple of weeks. And um, uh, they went off to... Um, Meadow Hall of all places uh, earlier in the week and Jordan had a great time while Jamila spent three hours walking around Primark. I'd like to thank Jordan Niles for an absolutely amazing season. Jordan we've absolutely loved having you. The viewers have loved watching you bowl mate and uh, occasionally bat um, and we wish you all the best uh, back home in Barbados and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon mate. Jordy, George, give us a wave. Swing no ding. <laughs> Tongy on his head again. <laughs> Has he got a wooden leg, Tongy? <laughs> Beautiful ball, big shot from Jordan, but looks like it was a bit high going over. Good appeal. It's a big shout um, and not out. Tony really tries to sweep. <laughs> Elongated appeal by Nick Leg, but uh, no dice from the umpire. <laughs> <laughs> Dog's on his own with that one, I think. <laughs> reverse sweep. Witchcraft, Jimmy. Witchcraft, Wendy. More sorcery. And that time it is full. Oh, reverse sweep. Bit of sorcery. It's against nature. Well, I have to say, I've had enough of this witchcraft, Jimmy. Yeah. You grab the pitchforks, I'll get the burning <laughs> torches, meet at the top of the hill at midnight. We're gonna have ourselves a burning. 
Oh, hello, all the tricks are coming out now. <laughs> what have my eyes just seen? Thor 3. Oh dear, that's bubbled up and Annie goes. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, and that's been flicked over the top and that should go for four. Sorry for the wonk. And that is swiped out to the offside, towards the boundary, and picked up by Eddie, and they've come back for two more runs. Oh, that's gone up. And it's put down. Oh gosh, I missed that. And uh, so did Graham. That's eats down. That was four, by the way. Sorry, I cut that off a bit early. That's clipped into the leg side again from Bruno. It's raced into the boundary, and that's four runs. Loopy one. Cal's taking it. I think I got the top of his head there. <laughs> George has hit that in the air, and that is caught by the fielder, and I have missed that. That's... Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> I think I managed to miss both elements of that. Six. That's a stunning drive from Tom. Um, that'll go for four. Helped away by toppers. That's going to go for four. Scamper on the boundary. I just missed, and it's four. That was uh, put down by Wayne. It's a very tough chance, and luckily for him, I wasn't filming because um, I was being attacked by a wasp, a very relentless one. Well, viewers, in typical Jimmy and Pecky style, as Jordan went into bowl that next ball, um, the camera battery ran out and uh, it switched itself off. Um, but as you can see. Uh, young Jimmy Blackburn's been bowled. Ryan Bannister coming on to bowl. It's a dog. Oh gosh, that's gone over him. It's well fielded out on the boundary. Miss catches. Crackly microphone. Changing the battery mid over. This is what you come to Wheatley TV for here. Yeah. My word, that's, how was that missed? Oh my word, that was as close as you can get to being bold without being bold. Oh, how was that missed? <laughs> oh my word, how was that missed? Uh, it's gone through everything and it's gone down for four buys. Oh, how was that missed? <laughs> In that sort of day. Oh, and that was not a million miles away from there. Off stump there, a great leave there. Oh, that was that missed. <laughs> Lovely flight and turn from Cal. And uh, it's gone down at four, four buys. This is going to be close. Oh, my word, how did that? <laughs> he put some off spin on that. <laughs> Drill back at him and even a big pour on it, but that's four runs. That was a stinger. The last thing you want on a day like this. <laughs> oh wow, that is there's a scattering on the bench over hits. there. Poor lady on the head. Is she okay? Yeah, she's actually fine. The 
cursory rub of the head there. They're made of tough stuff around here. Like... Ouchie. <laughs> Big target to hit. <laughs> Significant number of our audience know what that feels like. Great effort there. Hit right on the end of the fingers and he looks in a lot of pain. Let's hope he's okay. Well, he's back on his feet and he's ready to play. That's, uh, as a wiki keeper, I know how that feels. Oh, ouch. It's always um, not happy with his fingers. A uh, short delay here, viewers. Uh, Tongi goes to get some treatment, whatever that entails. <laughs> Who's this? Tongi, like Lazarus himself, coming back to the fold. Well, according to Tongi, he's got a light fracture um, in his finger after going to hospital. Oh, Johnny's punched yeah. that majestically once Good more job. for four. No. Ooh, out. Oh, gosh. Where's that gone? He's taken one to the head here. Old bestie Rob. First aid team of Wheatley. <laughs> Jimmy Nixon and uh, Johnny Lates coming on with, I mean, goodness knows what. Well, I think for the best, uh, Rob is going off here. Hope he's okay. Wear a helmet, kids. That's hit Mr. Willings in the unimaginables and he's getting zero sympathy from his teammates. <laughs> Drilled Nashed. back at him Nashed. and stand. I'm not sure that was Nashed friend. <laughs> Shocking. That was a stinger. Eddie's on holiday in Spain uh, for his 42nd holiday, I think, this year. No, 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 after you. With us uh, being short of a few players this week, Jimmy uh, is playing for the twos today. It's almost like doesn't want to stand here listening to me rabbiting on constantly for seven hours. Can you imagine? After you. Oh, and uh, after you as well. Don't let us get in the way. Well, Eddie's won the toss and Wheatley are batting first on this glorious day and is in fact um, the only day ever in Derbyshire that it hasn't rained. So I'm really glad that we brought that historical moment to you, viewer. <laughs> Oh my giddy aunt, what happened there? <laughs> Bruno got away with one. You know what that was, Pecky? What was that? Placement. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, mate. <laughs> with thanks to James Beck there for mundane history today. Next on Radio 4, we're going to go down to Dungeness in Kent, where we're going to meet Alan, who's going to show us his collection of unpleasant carvings. Yeah, go on then. And another one, yeah. So uh, Killamarsh uh, um, uh, brought yeah. on their overseas player, Jimmy. Can we just check on let's see where he's from? Uh, I believe he's from uh, Barbados. No way, yes. Barbados. Are you kidding? I uh, just leave your delivery van uh, running behind me. That's it. Oh, going so soon. Hey up viewers, welcome to Wheatley TV, this is James Peck. Ah, oh, wait a minute, it's just Jimmy Nixon. Four overs left here in Wheatley's innings. Oh, oh as Tommy edges one down. <laughs> and he gets off the mark for the season. <laughs> you can always count on your teammates for a sarcastic round of applause, can't you? Second, and that's out, and Wheatley's innings are stopped. <laughs> John those bats over there. <laughs> Bruno has put that down the throat of Long On and kicks his bats for good measure. Well, Eddie's uh, just having a chat with the umpires because uh, I think they were very happy with uh, Bruno's reaction to that wicket there. Bruno's on the naughty step now. Glad you 
literally, I'm stood directly behind the stumps and his foot was outside the line. <laughs> outside the line, mate. I know. And that is again, that might be caught. Oh, and it's just paddled down. It stops the boundary. And they come through for a quick single. Unlucky, great effort there, but not happy. 98 for Jordan here. Oh, and he gets bowled so close to his 100. So unlucky from Jordan. Obviously very, very disappointed in that. Um, the Redford lads still come across and uh, wish him all the best. Is that out? Yes, it is. A huge wicket for Wheatley, and I think it's fair to say Mr. Burgess uh, wasn't very happy with that decision. And uh, sorry, that was uh, run out there by Jono, who's halfway down the wicket. It's Pecky's fault, yeah. <laughs> Whitwell are absolutely all over us here, having looked down and out for a long, long time. Jimmy, hold me and tell me everything's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, Pecky. <laughs> Carl goes, that's two in two. And it's a hat trick. Whitwell win, one absolutely unbelievable comeback. Messrs Somerville and Littlewood have made light work of this uh, total so far. They look very untroubled after 10 overs. Oh, and that's in the air. Alex takes it. Is it too early to say that these two guys look really comfortable at the crease? This is Jamie Fothering's uh, last over. Um, it's currently one wicket for 21 runs, off his nine overs so far. Um, balled really well today. Nice tight line. And I've said that, and Jono just smashed him for a six and nearly hit the van. The lavishly gifted Annie Suresh about to face his first ball. Oh, and is he nicked off? He has, he's off and walking. Well, after that uh, commentator's curse from me uh, with that delivery to Annie, uh, here comes Johnny Lotes, and I know nothing about this guy or his style of batting. And a free hit. Yes, come on! No, Tom. <laughs> it's a no ball. <laughs> Rogue dog. The side screen blowing over. It almost blew over in that change of overs there and they're trying to secure it. <laughs> the umpire's not convinced that uh, we should start the over until it's uh, till it's sorted out. Yeah, that'll do. Driven brilliantly down the ground and brilliantly fielded. Oh, is that, oh, is that out? George goes, what an incredible piece of fielding. Uh, <laughs> what is Tommy up to? <laughs> the umpire had the ball. Oh, lovely. Unbelievable, Jimmy. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, I've been waiting for a couple of matches to say this, but here comes Jordan Niles opening the bowling for Wheatley. And it starts off with an absolute ripper. <laughs> Well, that came flying past me on the full and would have gone for six. Will you pipe down over there? It's very appropriate that some uh, heavy metal's been blasted out through the car park there as Worksop uh, is the birthplace of Bruce Dickinson, lead singer of Iron Maiden. There's a footpath behind me here and I've just overheard a conversation uh, 
between a bloke and his girlfriend saying, if he had a working BB gun, he'd be out here shooting at us. Oh, works up. <laughs> this chap has amused me all day. He's been sat there, stone still, barking his support for works up, and occasionally telling the umpires where they've gone wrong. Unless you have someone like, who can whack it. Nick, this way, you can get a long way. A bit of that. <laughs> you laugh at me. Magnificent beard here, Jimmy. He has my full backing. Uh, I would say it's maybe better than yours. Oh, it's miles better than mine. I've been completely outbearded. <laughs> <laughs> Whacked in the air. And <laughs> Cal has got that. A bit of a kiss and make up there by Cal and Ralphie. Nice hug. <laughs> and that's edged. And. Oh, a bit weird. The umpire. He definitely put, put his, his finger, finger up, up there, Jimmy. <laughs> definitely put well, his finger up. changed his mind when no one appeals. <laughs> Wheatley have uh, raced on to 28 without loss, and we're in the fifth over. <laughs> Clamber's own player stopping uh, play there for walking behind the bowler's arm. <laughs> you may have just uh, heard in the distance there, viewer. Uh, another feature of Bawtry is, you may remember from last time, they're uh, next to the East Coast main line uh, between London and Edinburgh. Um, lots of trains going past. So, uh, I won't uh, include too many of them. Uh, it was a total fit up, and that's how I ended up in an Armenian prison. <laughs> Shot, Cal! <laughs> oh, hello, that's gone straight up. And it's been put down. Oh. That was a free hit. <laughs> so Henry's gracious with his presence today and he thought he was going to be a watching brief but with Tongi off the field he's been ordered to go off, get his whites on, sure he's given it the okay from the Bryden point of view and Henry will be fielding. Come on Henry. Henry Patterson has finally arrived in whites and he's taking up his position down at third man. Henry apparently went back to get his kit um, and has come back without his trousers so he's borrowing a pair. Oh yeah, Jordan. Oh gosh, that was oh, like no. that. Oh no. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that is village. <laughs> I certainly have. Is that, that's the village for today. <laughs> That's the one they've prepared this morning as well. That's going on Cricket District for most village thing of the week. <laughs> <laughs> ball in, ball rebound. Ten. Got your hammer and nails. Well, they've only just prepared. I think it was that one before the game. They just hammered what it What are the back. chances? They just hammered it back on. So if you're wondering why I've, I've not been updating you much on the scores, because I don't have a clue what the scoreboard says. Is it 148, 118? Um, I'm pretty sure it's at 87 about two minutes ago, so I think it's 118 for five. Carl goes big again, this is huge. It's going to hit someone's car possibly, yep. Please don't be my car. So thankfully it wasn't my car, but if we zoom in there, I have a feeling we may have a damaged windscreen or car bonnet. I will get the details for you later viewers and let you know how much it's going to cost Cal Rutherford to get that repaired. The beautiful Cal Rutherford here has just swallowed a fly. If you're wondering where all that cuffing and splitting is, look at that beautiful man. It's gone through low to Rob Hunter Shaw, our fourth wicketkeeper of the season. <laughs> Mrs Peck is out on the daytime lash today with her mates, so um, I'm um, combining um, a spot of arm's length parenting and commentary today, viewer. It's been taken out here. Dad, you want to try this one? Oh, try that. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Apologies for the tinnitus inducing uh, background noise here, viewer. The village hall alarm's going off. Hooray, they've turned the alarm off. <laughs> Aiden Blake coming in to bat. I'd never played cricket before 2020. Here he is <laughs> in a very dicey situation for Wheatley. Oh! <laughs> That's gone, first ball. 
a free hit. No, it's four. This is uh, my mate John O'Gordon here. Um, and in the away fixture earlier in the year, I'll walk all that is. In the away fixture earlier in the year, um, John wanted me to mention on camera uh, that I absolutely flew 28 runs and the vast majority off his bowling. Um, and probably the best comment I've ever had on the pitch. He said it was the worst 40 minutes of cricket he's ever seen in his life. Watch out. Thank you. Honey. <laughs> 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 notice and see him. Sneaky down here, Pecky. You know you're in Derbyshire when you see a dry stone wall. Or is that a dry stone wall? Big push. Big push, boys. <laughs> We're about 80 miles from the sea here. In closer inspection of um, that wall, uh, it's not a dry stone wall, it is indeed a wall. Apologies viewer for my lack of knowledge. I'm going to wear a hair shirt for the rest of the season to punish myself. I don't have many joys in life. I've got commentating on the cricket, spending time with Mr James Peck and watching Johnny Lokes bat. And that's about it. And that's the over. Wheatley TV spoiling you since 2021.